Welcome to another episode of Global Banking and Finance TV. My name is Vipika Lobo. Today we are going to talk about how long should a resume be. We are giving away one year free subscription of Global Banking and Finance TV magazine to be delivered at your doorstep to one lucky winner. Stay with me for more information. Resume is a window to one's skills, personality and achievements. In the boosting sector of employment, people do not have time to sit around and know each other. As the French word suggests, resume provides a complete summary of the aspirant in relevancy to the job. The market is flooded with professional resume writers. Their major work is to put your common skills in an extraordinary way to gain the employer's attention. A well-framed resume despite your skills can get you through the step one of the selection process and if not sketched properly, it can easily let you out of the process despite your other achievements. The three attributes of resume which hikes its efficiency are relevancy. For the position of mathematics teacher, your skills with hoverboard won't help with anything but all the championship in math olympiads and an active participation given with mathematics club of high school will imprint itself in the employer's eyes. It's important to state and highlight your skills and achievements which are relevant to the job. Putting all the skills in one's resume only crowds the space and makes the resume wake. Updating. Each sector is dynamic and so are the opportunities it provides. For people who constantly work upon themselves, keep on adding new skills to their profile. It's wise to acquire skills which are in demand and put them on the resume. Although a resume should be updated in accordance with the trend of the market. Constant framing and structuring of a resume is suggestions but sometimes updating one's resume not only includes the addition of data but also trimming it of irrelevant information. Presentation You do not represent your resume but your resume represents you. It's like a pamphlet to the show of your experience. One should be careful to match their behavior with what they have claimed in their resume. It is a known belief that the resume glorifies one's personality but at the same time the behavior should be congruent to claims made in the resume. The primary question that strikes the nerves of our mind while writing a resume is how long should it be? Loading of information in a resume is never ideal. Humans have a tendency to get bored easily and forgetting that your employer is a human too is the biggest mistake you can make. Handing over your employer an essay named resume will only take off your chances to get selected. Brevity and accuracy are appreciated but not so much that one starts questioning your skills and capability. It is a heated topic of discussion amongst people whether to use one page or two page resume. Both are scaled and optimized different job situation. One page resume. This resume adheres to the brevity and major highlights of one's life in a professional aspect. If a person is applying for the position in the same field as his previous job, then this may not be the ideal resume. A detailed description of the previous job is expected to analyze the candidate based on relevant skills. Two-page resume. This resume has its own pros and cons. Too much information can sometimes put the interest off the table. The key to bringing this resume into one's own favor is to craft it in a way to highlight only relevant skills and the gaps filled with experiences. If one is applying for a job which has many applicants, then it's wiser to keep the resume short. Key points to keep in mind while writing a resume. Heading should be consistent in size and font. Ideal font size is 11 to 12 pt. Too much personal information should be avoided. Though a resume is enhanced narration of skills, but one should avoid lies and stick to the knowledge they are more confident about. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And one lucky winner will win a one-year subscription of Global Banking and Financial Magazine.